Your appendix is a small, finger-like pouch attached to your large intestine. Appendix can get blocked by hardened poop, swollen lymph tissue, infection from colitis. These blockages trap bacteria inside, leading to infection, swelling, and possibly rupture, spreading dangerous bacteria throughout your body. That's appendicitis. Appendicitis is very common, especially in people between 10 and 30 years old. About 5% of people in the U.S. will experience it in their lifetime. It's also the number one reason for emergency abdominal surgery. The pain usually starts near your belly button and then moves to the lower right side of your abdomen. Other symptoms include nausea or vomiting, fever loss of appetite, feeling tired or unwell, swollen belly or bloating, difficulty peeing or pooping, pain that worsens when coughing or touching the area. If the pain gets worse and moves to your lower right side, go to the hospital. Don't wait. Doctors use blood tests to check for infection and imaging tests, like ultrasound or CT scans, to see if the appendix is swollen. Doctors usually go straight to antibiotics or surgery, appendectomy. This is often done using small cuts with a camera called laparoscopic surgery. Most appendectomies occur within 24 hours of your appendicitis diagnosis. Prior to your surgery, your healthcare team will place an IV line into a vein so they can give you antibiotics as soon as possible. You will be given general anesthesia so you can sleep through your surgery. For a laparoscopic appendectomy, your surgeon will make two to three small incisions near your belly button. Insert a tiny port into one of the incisions. Place a small tube, the cannula, through the port. Use the cannula to inflate your belly with carbon dioxide gas. This makes more room for the operation and allows for clearer views with the laparoscope. A long, thin tube with a tiny light and a high-resolution camera attached. Remove the cannula and insert a laparoscope. The camera will display the surgery on a video screen, allowing your surgeon to locate your appendix and guide the instruments through the incisions. Tie off your appendix with sutures, detach it from your colon, and remove it from your body. Close your incisions. In some cases, your surgeon may need to switch gears from laparoscopic appendectomy to open appendectomy. This can happen if you have widespread infection in your abdominal cavity. On average, appendix removal takes about one hour to complete. If you had a laparoscopic appendectomy with no complications, you might go home the same day. It may take a few weeks to return to your normal activities. Most people can return to work or school in one to three weeks, up to a month if they have an open appendectomy. Full recovery takes about six weeks. Your body will work just fine without your appendix. You'll be able to eat the same things and enjoy the same activities you always have.